Hi everyone, my name is Naoki, and on behalf of my team, I would like to talk about the approach that we took for the 2021 I Gibson Challenge. First off, we chose to train our agent in the Habitat Simulator. Habitat is very fast and it can achieve over 3000 FPS with 8 GPUs during training. We imported all of the 3D object files for the I Gibson scenes and pedestrians to emulate the social nav task, with multiple pedestrians roaming around the environment. The trained agent is then directly deployed to iGibson in a zero-shot manner with no explicit sim-to-sim -sim adaptation. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the social nav task in iGibson versus Habitat. Habitat is more jittery due to a lack of acceleration and deceleration limits, though that is something that could be added. We use the same agent for both social and interactive nav. Our model uses a CNN and an LSTM to output linear and angular velocities sampled from a Gaussian action distribution as well as value estimates for use in deep reinforcement learning. As input, the agent uses just the depth channel of its egocentric view, as well as the point goal sensor reading and the action that it took at the previous time step. The agent was trained using decentralized distributed PPO. For our reward function, the agent received a shaped reward for closing the geodesic distance to the goal at each step. This portion of the reward function is gradually decayed to zero as training progresses to encourage faster completion speeds rather than shorter paths, as done in the success weighted by completion time work. It also received a terminal reward for reaching the goal and was penalized for colliding with the environment or moving backwards. A constant slack penalty at each time step also encourages the agent to complete the task as soon as possible. One of the biggest issues we saw was that the small amount of available training scenes led to poor generalization to new scenes. Agents trained on more scenes from the Gibson 4 Plus dataset were able to perform much better on navigation episodes within the 14 unseen scenes from the Gibson 4 Plus valve split than the agents that we trained on only the iGibson training scenes. To mitigate this issue, when training on only the eight allowed iGibson scenes, we found that increasing the number of pedestrians roaming around the environment helped to significantly increase the success rate on previously unseen scenes from the Gibson 4 Plus valve split. Training with 12 pedestrians rather than three also proved to yield better performance on the test phase for both social and interactive nav. To conclude, we found that increasing the number of moving pedestrians during training helped to combat overfitting to the small amount of training scenes that we had available. In the future, it may be interesting to see if this method of data augmentation could help improve navigation performance even when a larger amount of training scenes may be available.